Let's review some of the skills we were supposed to learn for our polynomial unit exam. So for these first two problems, you are asked to factor. So you need to factor this, factor this. And when you look at this, you can see that this is a difference of cubes. So if you take the square root of this term, 8x cubed, the cubed root of that is 2x, and I can take the cubed root of 27, which is 3. And once I get a is 2x and b is 3, I can substitute the a's and b's into this, this formula to come up with this result. 2x minus 3. When I square a, I'm going to get 4x squared. When I multiply a times b, I'm going to get 6x. And when I square b, I'm going to get 9. So this is your final answer. On this one, first thing you need to do is factor out an x, leaving you x cubed plus 8. So in this example, the cubed root of your first term is x, the cubed root of your second term is 2. So you're going to use this formula. You're going to plug a in for x and 2 in for b. So that will give you, don't forget your x you factored out, x, x plus 2, x squared, minus 2x plus 4. Okay, on the next two problems, you were asked to find all the zeros, but you were given the factors. So each one of these factors, you will set equal to 0 and solve for x to find the zeros. So when I set x minus 1 equal to 0, that will give me x is equal to 1. When I set x plus 1 is equal to 0, that will give me x equals minus 1. And when I set x squared minus 6 equal to 0, I will get x squared is equal to 6. And taking the square root of both sides, I'll get x is equal to plus or minus radical 6. So these are my four zeros. For this one, if I set x minus 5 equal to 0 and solve for x, I get 5. And when I set x minus 4 equal to 0 and solve for x, I get 4. 